Welcome, 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 everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, good day. Rise and shine this morning. Uh, for thy light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you this morning. It is a great day uh, to be alive. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, you get up in the morning and you find yourself amongst the living. We have a lot to give God thanks for today. He is the awesome God. He is a sovereign Lord. At top of the morning uh, to those of you down there in Jamaica, all across the island this morning. Uh, yes, to do those to those of you, sorry, uh, down there in Lagos. Um, yes, our brother Jonathan uh, down there and his family. Uh, glory to God too. Uh, those of you in Trinidad and Tobago, Minister Anna, Sister Lenore. Uh, glory to God, those of you in St. Kitts and Nevis, Minister Michelle, uh, glory to God is not with us this morning. Uh, it is well with her. Uh, glory to God this morning and her family. We bless the name of the Lord. Also, um, Brother Rakeem down there and all of you, uh, glory to God, who <coughs> are with us down there in St. Kitts and Nevis. Those of you in Antigua, again, uh, the United States, England, wherever you are around the world this morning, whatever time of day it is. It is today. It is the Lord's day. And we continue to believe, glory to God. We continue to believe in the sovereign God. We continue to believe, uh, yes, in the God who is more than able to do exceedingly abundantly and above all we can ask, think, or imagine. Glory to God. We continue to believe him as our way maker this morning. We continue to believe him, uh, glory to God, that he's able to restore. We continue to believe, uh, glory to God, yes, that he's more than able uh, to do exceedingly and abundantly and above all we can ever ask, think, or imagine. Uh, yes, will you continue to believe this morning? <laughs> come to pass. I believe in a God who took six days to create this universe. I believe in a God who speaks to the wind and the waves and they had to obey. I believe. Yes, I believe in this man. Possible. 
Uh, yes, all things, not just some things, but all things. I believe in a God. I believe that He is the rock of my salvation this morning. I believe that He is the Lord that sustains all things this morning. Yep. I believe that He is the God that is in control of all things this morning. Yep. That's the God who I believe in this morning. Yep. The one who speaks to the winds and the waves and they obey Him. Will you join me this morning in believing? Ah, uh, yes. I believe. I believe. I believe in this morning. I believe that with God, with God, all things are possible. of those who are mourning uh, this morning, yeah. We believe in the God that's able to grant them that peace this morning that they need, the peace that surpasses all understanding this morning, yeah. I believe that he's able to strengthen them this morning, uh, to God, yes. I believe that he's able to do that this morning. I believe in him this morning, and I know we believe in him, but we trust in him this morning, yeah? We trust in God this morning. We trust in the awesome God this morning. We trust in the ever-present God this morning, yes? We trust in the God that is more than enough this morning, yes? The God who is more than able to do exceedingly abundant and above all that we can ask, think, or imagine. Uh, yes, I believe it this morning. Uh, glory to God. I believe in Him uh, this morning. I believe that He is my healer this morning. I believe uh, this morning that He is, uh, yes, the very present help in the time of trouble uh, this morning. I believe this morning, uh, glory to God, yes, uh, that He is an on time God this morning, that He is the way maker this morning. I believe that He is uh, the miracle working God this morning. Will you join me? this morning and believe in the God of the universe. Uh, glory to God. Yes, the God who told the sun uh, where to stand this morning and the moon where to hide. Glory to God. The God who woke you up this morning. Uh, glory to God. Clothe you in your right mind. Uh, yes, the God who did not call back his spirit or took back his breath from you but uh, uh, breathed upon you again. Uh, glory to God. While you were sleeping, he watched over you. Uh, glory to God. He protected you. Uh, glory to God. We believe in God this morning. And I just come this morning to give him praise. I come this morning to magnify him. I come this morning with a heart of gratitude uh, this morning, with a heart of thanksgiving uh, this morning. Glory to God. Uh, yes, I come this morning, uh, glory to God, to lift up the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come this morning to exalt uh, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I come this morning uh, to bless on him this morning, uh, to give him the highest praise uh, this morning. How awesome is our God this morning? How excellent is he this morning? He is a good God. He's an awesome God. He is the 
almighty God. He is sovereign, our God of God. He is holy and righteous this morning. I come this morning with confidence that I know this morning that my God is alive and well this morning. My Redeemer and King, our uh, glory to God is alive this morning. Our uh, glory to God is seated far above the heavens far above principalities. Uh, yes, he is the God that changeth not this morning. He is our way maker this morning. He is the miracle working God this morning. He is our peace this morning. Oh, glory to God. He is our Lord and Savior this morning. And we bless on him this morning. Uh, there is none like him uh, this morning. No one can compare uh, themselves to him. He is great and greatly to be praised this morning. A word Worthy to be exalted, worthy to be lifted up, worthy to be magnified this morning, worthy to be glorified this morning. We come uh, to Shabbat him this morning. We come uh, to Yada him this morning. We come and enter into his gates with thanksgiving this morning and into his courts with praise this morning. We thank him this morning, uh, glory to God, for his grace and his mercy and his loving kindness towards us, oh, glory to God. We thank him this morning. It's better, uh, glory to God, yes, to be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tent of wickedness. We thank him this morning for the Holy Spirit, whom he's given unto us, our uh, glory to God, hallelujah, to lead and to guide and to direct us into all truth, our uh, glory to God. We thank him this morning that he is our burden bearer this morning. We thank him this morning that he is uh, the yoke destroyer this morning. We thank him this morning that he is our shield. He is our hiding place this morning. We thank him this morning that he is the source of our strength. Hallelujah this morning. We thank him this morning that we are victorious. Uh, we thank him this morning that we are more than conquerors. Oh, glory to God. We thank him this morning that we have been redeemed. He took us, uh, uh, glory to God, from out of the, under the curse of the law. Uh, we thank him this morning. Yes, uh, yes, for eternal life, for salvation this morning. We thank him this morning. Oh, glory to God. Yes, uh, we give him praise this morning and we give him glory this morning. When we roll back the curtains of memories now and and then this morning and we see and we take a glance and we look and we see where he has brought us from. Oh, glory to God. We are grateful this morning. Uh, glory to God that he is our redeemer this morning. Uh, yes, we are grateful this morning that he is the potter and we are nothing but lump of clay this morning. We are grateful this morning. Oh, glory to God that he has chosen us uh, this morning. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I am thanking him this morning that I am the apple of his eye this morning, that I am fearfully and wonderfully made, hallelujah, uh, this morning, hallelujah, I am thanking him this morning, uh, because of him I can decree and declare that I am blessed this morning, above only, not beneath, that I am victorious this morning, that I am more than a conqueror uh, this morning, oh glory to God, I thank him this morning because of him, I can say that I am rich this morning, uh, glory to God, that I am healed this morning, and delivered this morning, almighty God, this morning, because of him, uh, this morning. Uh, we can decree, oh glory to God, that we are the tree planted by the rivers of water. I thank him this morning that he is my shepherd this morning, uh, glory to God, that he is the door this morning, oh my God, that he is the one who restores, uh, glory to God, lifts up our head this morning. Hallelujah this morning. Oh, glory to God this morning. I don't know uh, what you're thanking him this morning for, but I am thanking him this morning. Oh, glory to God. Yes, that I'm clothed in my right minds. You see, uh, many persons are alive, but they're not in their right minds this morning. Hallelujah. Many persons are alive. Uh, glory to God, but they cannot lift their hands because they don't have hands. Uh, glory to God this morning. Yes, many persons uh, yes, are alive this morning. Uh, glory to God, but deal with all sorts of issues, all sorts of sickness, but this morning morning. Uh, glory to God. Open your mouth, the heart of gratitude. Uh, this morning, we just come thanking God for life. Uh, glory to God. Thanking him. Uh, glory to God for allowing us to see today. Uh, glory to God. Thanking him for his grace and his mercy. Uh, this morning, we know uh, it's nothing good that we have done, but it's because of his grace and it's because of his mercy. It's because of his loving kindness that is so far better than life in itself. This morning, let everything that has breath 
praise the Lord this morning. Let the earth rejoice, oh glory to God, and be glad in it this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, to the Lamb of God, we come this morning uh, to give him praise and glory and honor. Uh, who is like unto him? He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is our Jehovah Jireh. He is our miracle working God. My God, he is the God that is more than enough in the name of Jesus. So we give him praise and we give him glory and we give him honor this morning mighty God he desires for us to give him praise he desires our worship this morning hallelujah when we praise the Lord oh glory to God yes it opens up it brings attention to him in the name of Jesus when we let him know how much uh, we love him how awesome he is he's abiding uh, glory to God he's the almighty God he's ever present uh, glory to God yes when our backs were against the wall and it looks like it was over he made away oh glory to God yes he's the one that's going to turn your situation around uh, glory to God this morning yes he's the one that's going to heal you he has already healed you uh, uh, glory to God he's going to restore your peace uh, restore your joy the bones which was broken will rejoice again this morning hallelujah uh, glory to God let us put on the garment of praise uh, for the spirit of heaviness this morning uh, glory to God let us rise and shake off uh, glory to God the spirit of heaviness this morning. Uh, glory to God. Let us praise the Lord. Open your mouth wherever you are and open your mouth and bless the Lord. Uh, yes, you have the ability to change uh, the atmosphere, to change your surroundings, making it conducive for a miracle in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah uh, to the Lamb of God. So whether you're in Jamaica, whether you're in uh, the Fiji Islands this morning, yes, uh, open your mouth, give God some praise because he is a good God. Uh, yes, he's a God that changeth not this morning. Come on, somebody. Uh, glory to God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is a God that stretched out the heavens uh, this morning. He's in control of times and seasons, every kingdom and every domain, everything that moves and breathes. Uh, glory to God. Everything that is existing, my God, uh, yes, goes right back to him. Uh, yes, because he took everything out of himself. He was here before the beginning. My God, he is a God that sends rain. He's a God that sends snow. He sends wind. Uh, glory to God. Yes, he sends hail and brimstone. Everything belongs to him. Uh, glory to God. Yes, he created everything for his purpose and his glory. Uh, yes, so we come on. We just want to praise him. We want to worship him and we want to exalt him. How awesome is our God this morning in all the earth this morning. We serve an awesome God this morning and we just give him thanks this morning. We thank him uh, for the blood of Jesus. Oh, glory to God, as we were praying on this morning uh, for souls. Oh my God, this morning, uh, the days are evil. Uh, glory to God, yes, the coming of the Lord, uh, yes, is sooner, uh, yes, than we think. Uh, glory to God, as encouraging, I was saying, I just imagine when Noah, uh, yes, was building the ark, you know, uh, glory to God, and he was warning the people, you know, get yourself ready, I'm paraphrasing now, and I'm sure they laughed at him, you know, they jeered him uh you know they say, what are you talking about uh yes brother noah uh what is rain what are you talking about rain uh glory to god we don't know rain uh yes no rain is coming even now people are saying oh you know what i've been hearing that uh, Jesus is coming from my eye at my knee and I'll know uh, you know my mother was telling me that Jesus is coming uh, those are saying and my mother's not here and I'll know Jesus don't come uh, you understand but let me tell you something he is coming uh, yes he is coming so you better get ready uh, glory to God you better get ready to meet him you better get ready to give an account uh, glory to God every man will have to give an account even uh, yes for the idle words that we speak we'll have to give an account for uh, glory to God. Yes, he is coming. Don't let anybody fool you. He is coming. Uh, glory to God. And he's given every man the opportunity, uh, glory to God, to prepare themselves, uh, glory to God, to meet him, to prepare themselves, uh, to answer, uh, glory to God, to him. Every man will have to answer to him. Every man in government, yes, every teacher, every police officer, every judge, every prime minister, every president, uh, glory to God, even those who are dead, uh, not 
not even death is going to let you escape. Uh, yes, because there is still a judgment, uh, glory to God, to face. Uh, glory to God. So death does not uh, give us a way of escape. We will still have to face, uh, glory to God, the judgment, whether it be, uh, yes, that of the righteous or that of the wicked, but there is a judgment line for everybody, uh, glory to God. But you today can choose, uh, yes, which uh, line you will line up or fall under, uh, glory to God, this morning. The choice is yours. We bless the Lord. And as I was saying, uh, you know, Noah started to get everything together. I know the ark wasn't built overnight. No, I know that for a matter of fact, it was not built overnight. It took quite some time. Uh, yes, I don't think the Bible says how long it took for him uh, to build it, but it was, yeah, and it was on dry land too. So imagine them laughing after him, uh, you know, uh, you're building the boat on dry land, but guess what? The day came uh, when Noah was instructed of what to do. Uh, Noah, I need you to go out and I need you to bring two of every kind, yeah, and two of all kinds, female, male and female, good God almighty, we are so reminded to follow the instructions of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. You notice that Noah, ha, Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost. Noah took two, one female and one male of every kind. Uh, glory to God. You notice that Noah never take two female bird and one male bird, because guess what? Then all of a sudden, no, one of the female bird, I will get jealous. Not true. You understand? Because when she wants our look of business take care of, uh, uh, you know, from the other male bird, am I got busy with the other one that's to show you from the beginning you understand every man supposed to cleave to their own wife and every wife their own husband you understand what I'm trying to say so Noah didn't bring an extra um one you understand of anything so to cause confusion anytime when somebody gets into a relationship anytime when an extra woman gets in or extra man gets in it's gonna cause confusion uh glory to God because somebody's gonna want ownership of that person and cause a chaos my good God thank you Holy Ghost so even from then uh glory to God, no one make sure never bring in an extra giraffe, an extra male giraffe. You understand? Because now there's going to be a war with the, with the other female giraffe in the ark for past chaos. No, every man, every person have their own person. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Yes, from the beginning. Let me tell you something. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I never looked at it as that. Oh, God, I tell you, I never thought of it as that. From then, that's to show you. You understand what I'm trying to say? Every man cleave to their own. You understand? You have no right. You understand? God makes sure of that from the beginning to orchestrate with us. You understand? Anytime an extra body or an extra voice or extra mouth gets into your relationship or your marriage, it causes confusion. So Noah said, God's told Noah what to do. And Noah now started. And I believe, uh, glory to God, even when Noah was, you know, when the, the animals were coming in, Noah was still beckoning onto the people, you know, still beckoning and still, uh, Noah, what you're doing, you're crazy, man, you're a mad man. You know, many of us, uh, yes, the world looks at us as mad people. Uh, we're mad. Oh, you're believing in a God you know, who you can't even see, uh, you know, you believe in a God, and you say how oh, you believe in God, and look, look how you're, look how you them take away your house, uh, you understand, you, you lose your job, but yet say you're believing a God, that's what they were saying to Noah, uh, you understand, you're believing a God, and we haven't seen rain, no rain not coming, Noah, uh, you understand, but yet still, but Noah kept on believing, uh, believing in what God has told him to do, and that's the thing, you understand, we can't say we have faith and not believe, uh, glory to God, just like how we can't say, you know, Jesus is Lord and not our Savior. No way. It's not possible. Uh, glory to God. It's not possible to believe and not have faith. And it's not possible to have faith and not believe. But Noah continued to believe, although they were probably criticizing him. They were probably mocking and jeering him. Many of us, even our family members, you understand, are mocking us probably. Even our family members are saying, look, make sure you stay there in our one bedroom. Make sure you stay there in our basement apartment. She can go out and do this. She shall wait upon the Lord. Uh, yes, God is not coming look how long shall we wait uh, you understand and i'll know uh, god not come to yes what in his timing glory to god he is an untimed god 
We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, so Noah now continued, and the day came, uh, glory to God, when the final two went into the ark, uh, glory to God. And I trust me, God is so full of compassion. I can imagine God said, okay, Noah, one more time, just, just beckon one more time. And Noah did it, and nobody responded. Nobody, uh, glory to God. They pass him by every day. They pass by the ark every day to go about their business, just like how people pass us by on the sidewalk, handing out a track. Uh, people pass us by. Uh, glory to God, we're saying, listen, uh, repent. The Lord loves you. They look at us. They don't want to hear. Uh, yes, just like in Noah days, but the day came. Uh, glory to God. When God said, Noah, get your family in. Get everybody in that belongs to you. And I believe, uh, glory to God, Noah allowed his family to go first. Uh, glory to God, yes. And he walked behind them because guess what? When he got in, I believe that Noah looked, uh, turned back and looked and looked and said, my good God, why didn't they listen? I love what God did. Uh, glory to God. God did not allow Noah to close the door. He did not give control over Noah. Noah, when it comes to the door, uh, glory to God, God himself shut the door, uh, glory to God, he shut it in and he sealed that door, why, because he became the door, uh, glory to God, and the door was closed, uh, glory to God, and I believe my God, Noah looked out, my God Almighty, and his heart was broken. Uh, glory to God. That is going to be many of us. Uh, glory to God. Yes. Uh, when that door closed. Uh, glory to God. When salvation door closed. Uh, glory to God. Yes. Uh, my God. And when the rain started to come and the people realized that Noah was telling the truth. Uh, yes. When the people realized that indeed, uh, yes, he was speaking the truth. And I believe, my God, uh, yes, that they started being beating down on the door. I believe that they started banging on the window and they started saying, Noah, help us. Let us in. Let us in. Uh, let us in. We believe you now. Oh my God, they will be weeping and mourning. Uh, too late shall be their cry. I can just picture the tears running down Noah's face. Uh, yes, and said, if you only had listened, uh, glory to God, if you only had believed, I pray this morning that somebody will believe that Jesus is coming again. Uh, he's coming back to judge the world. Uh, glory to God. He's coming back. Uh, glory to God. I pray that somebody will believe before it's too late. And the rain came. Uh, the winds came. And I can just imagine the screaming. That's what's going to happen to some of us. We're going to hear the screaming of our children. Uh, glory to God. But we cannot do nothing. We're going to hear the screams of our loved ones. But we cannot do nothing. Because every man was given an opportunity opportunity. The Bible says the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ must be preached throughout the earth. Ah, oh, glory to God. God has provided a medium called internet. God has provided radio. Ah, oh, glory to God. I'm telling you, ah, uh, yes, he provided all sorts of medium. I don't know if there's a country right now that does not have a cell phone. Maybe not everybody has it in their hands, but I believe every nation has some antenna. Ah, oh, glory to God. Every nation, yes, as a way of getting messages to their people. Ah, oh, glory to God. And let me tell you something, even pre-adventure, uh, glory to God, the very fact that you see the sun, he's going to use that, uh, glory to God, to confirm to you, uh, and then you know mankind will not have any excuse. Uh, I want to let somebody know, uh, glory to God, yes, uh, the clouds have darkened, uh, mighty God, rain is coming, the rain of the presence of our king is coming, uh, yes, it's time uh, to get it right, this is the day of salvation, uh, tomorrow does not belong unto you, the Bible says, harden not your heart, I go to God. So Noah was in the ark. Oh my God Almighty. And I'm sure, Lord God Almighty, that Noah himself tried to open the door. Oh God, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Noah tried to open the door, but the Bible tells me that when God shuts the door, no man can open it. Not even Noah could have opened that door. Uh, he has to drag anybody in because he opened the door. He's the one that closes it and he's the one that's going to open it. Oh good God Almighty. And Noah 
Noah heard them screaming and he heard them screaming. And as the rain beat down, my God almighty, the scream became less and less and faint and faint and faint and faint until there was silence. But God almighty, God destroyed everyone, everything. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and Noah just and his family. And, and yes, and the animals were in the ark because God was about to do a new thing. Uh, good God almighty, my God, what a day that is going to be. We bless the name of the Lord. What a day that is going to be when the eastern sky, God has given every human being the time. Uh, glory to God. Repent. <coughs> God has made a way for mankind to have no excuse. He dealt with your sin. We bless the name of the Lord. My God. There'll be weeping and wailing. Noah, day in, day out, still refused when God shut that door. That was it. God is in control of that door. Noah realized it. So I pray today for those of you under the sound of my voice that you do not know the Lord. What the Bible says, does it profit a man to gain? What are you, what are you running after? What is more important than your soul? You spend years trying to obtain wealth. You spend years buying a house today, big cars and all of that. And your soul, my good God, you get up every morning. You don't even acknowledge God. You go about and just live. We, we go about and just live our lives. Like, you know what? We had to get up. We make our plans like we have to fulfill them. We don't consult God. We don't ask God no question. We, we, we pursue the things of God, but not the one who provide the thing. We love the cars, we love the money, we love everything, but we don't love the creator of it. We spend time and hours doing our job and, and neglecting our work, not knowing our work is unto the Lord. Your work is your vision. Your work is what you need to fulfill. We've neglected our work and let our job replace our work. We bless the name of the Lord. And that's why, you know, since God had to sometimes take us, some of us, take away a job from us. Make them fire us so we focus on our work. Because it's our work that's going to bring us true meaning in life. It is our work that's going to bring us fulfillment. It is our work that's going to guide us. Oh, glory to God. Our work individually is part of the bigger plan and the mission of God. And that's why it's important for us to know who we are. Glory to God. And for those of us who are saved, break up your fallen ground. Stop, let us stop trolling the fence. 
Let us stop dabbling and tasting a little bit of sin today, tasting a little bit of this tomorrow. Because you never know the day when you go to taste, it might be the last day. That might be the day in number call. Hmm. The day when you decide to go back into that bed of adultery might just be that day. Because no one knows the minute or the hour. The day that you decide, uh, glory to God, to get back into Egypt just one more time, the door might just close. Let us not take our salvation for granted. Let us stop dabbling and playing. What shall we say then? Shall we to continue to sin? Because we're no longer the law. God forbid. What does light have to do with darkness? Can two walk together unless they agree? Come out from amongst them. Touch not any unclean thing, the Lord said. Be separated. Holiness is still a requirement. Righteous living, truth. Be he holy as I am holy, says the Lord. Our glory to God. One might say it's impossible for us to live holy. No, it's not. Because the Bible says, I am the Lord that makes you holy. We bless the name of the Lord. We got to get back to the basics. We got to get back to righteous living. We got to get back to holy living. We got to get back to truth. And we got to get back to the place where our hearts reverence God. We reverence him so much that our conversation are guided. We're careful in what we say. We're careful with our thoughts, our attitude. Oh, this wasn't my plan this morning. Glory to God. Let every man examine themselves. I don't know about you, but I refuse to rise up early in the morning. I refuse to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning and pray. I refuse to come on here and minister the word of God and encourage people. I refuse to rise up early and stay up late and eat the bread of sorrow. I refuse to preach others in and I become a castaway. No, it's not happening. I'm not doing it. Good morning, Minister Mary. Minister Mary, I refuse to come on rebuilding lives and encourage people. And yet still at the end of the day, I hear depart from me, Vivian, I know you know. I refuse it. We bless the name of the Lord. Judgment day is a day that is real. We bless the name of the Lord this morning. And that's why this morning I am praying, oh, glory to God this morning, that God will release an anointing for evangelism, to release an anointing, oh, glory to God, for us to evangelize because the days are short. The enemy knows it too. He has called in all of his reserves. Oh, glory to God. You don't know that the enemy is an army? Do you know that the enemy, the, the army, they're trained? Don't you know that they come in rank and files as well? Don't you know that they have pledged allegiance to kill, to steal, and to destroy? To wipe you out? We bless the name of the Lord. Every day that hell hears your voice, and knows that you're alive, you're under attack. You're in the bullseye. Everybody who calls upon the name of the Lord is in the target of the enemy. Worse if you are a leader. Worse if there's an anointing upon your life. Worse if you have a gift that he knows uh, is destructive to his kingdom. He is looking to sniper you out. 
We bless the name of the Lord. Some of us, like myself, we were chief leaders in his, in his camp. Oh yeah, we were once in his army too. You understand? And you think he likes the fact that he, we're not there anymore? You think he likes the fact that, you know, our eyes have been open and our gifts have now connected to the source in which it should have been connected? He doesn't like that because he knows how dedicated we were serving him. He knows how committed we were to him. So he knows that we're going to be committed to God. And he's trying to pull us out from, on, from being committed. He's trying to cause us to disbelieve and to have doubt. And that's why he tries to afflict us with all sorts of things. He tries to describe us. He tries to torment us. He tries to get into our minds and says, listen, uh, yeah, you're no good. You're just that. But the devil is a liar. I am committed to stay the course. Comes what may. Oh, glory to God. Are you committed this morning? Or should I ask, who are we committed to? Glory to God, it's high time. Oh my, let every man work out their salvation of fear and trembling. <clears throat> you know how much people got up this morning, persons, people, and we don't know, I myself, good God, it's only by the grace of God and my faith, I'm believing that I would live to see the end of today. That's why it's important for us to find out what our vision is. It's important for us to find out what the work the Lord has given us to do and work it. We've been existing for too long. Some of you understand my voice, wherever you are, you're 60 odd. You've been existing for 60 years and still you have not tapped into your work. Miles Monroe said this, the cemetery, the graveyard is the richest plot of land. Unfulfilled dreams, unfulfilled inventions, inventions, unwritten books. Why? Because people failed, uh, glory to God, to recognize their worth and why they were created. They lived to get a house. They lived to get married. They lived to have children. And trust me, that's it. They died just existed. Nothing else. Their work was undone. We bless the name of the Lord. I pray this morning that that will not be us. Glory to God this morning. Believers, I'm telling you, unsaved, I'm telling you, it is no joke. Jesus is coming. All that we're seeing are signs. I was talking to one of my colleagues. I was saying to them that the signs that we're seeing is like a woman that's pregnant. You know, sometimes as pregnant women, when you get to seven months, you start feeling uncomfortable. Oh, Kyle, holy, holy, holy ghost, thank you. You start feeling uncomfortable because you know something is about to happen. So you start feeling uneasy. And, and through that month, you know, you, and that's what's happening right now. You understand? You're not going to have the baby yet. You still have a ways to go. I'll grow to God. That's what's happening. All that we're seeing, I'll grow to God. All that we're seeing happen around us is what is about to take place. Uh, yes, every man is getting uneasy. Uh, you understand that everything is happening. It's for a reason. You understand? You've got to prepare, uh, glory to God, for the birthing. Uh, glory to God. Come on, somebody. we got to get it together. What is our priority? What is our number one priority? To gain the things of the world, uh, glory to God. To gain the house, to gain the land, uh, glory to God. To see who can have the bigger house, to see who can have the bigger car, uh, to see who can have more money. The devil is a liar. You understand? You and your money and your care and your house is going to perish. Bless the Lord, uh, Pastor Redeem. We bless the Lord this morning, man of God. Uh, glory to God. We got to get back to the basics. 
We bless the name. We got to separate ourselves, our glory to God. We got to stand up for truth. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Even as believers, we got to stop dabbling. And the truth of the matter is, many of us who say we're calling upon the name of the Lord, we have become stumbling blocks in the way of sinners. We have stood in front of the door and blocked the way, and God is going to deal with us. We bless the name of the Lord. We have compromised our glory to God. We, we show favoritism, our glory to God. We have lied and we have misled and we have abused good God Almighty in the name of Jesus. You want to tell me that God is going to hold us accountable? That's why the Bible says judgment first is going to reach the church. God has to judge the church first because he gave the church a responsibility. Glory to God. We bless the name of the Lord. Yeah. We, it will start with us first. The Bible says, if the righteous can scarcely make it, good God Almighty, let alone the wicked. My heart bleeds when I see, uh, yes, when I, even my own country, my city, when I look and I see that the government, I don't care what no bishop or no pastor wants to say, the government no respect we, because the government themselves know how we're wicked against one another, how we're backbite against one another. They know, they know. We cannot come together to do nothing. Look how the government, the, the, the city of Toronto, mayor and the premier and all who are the prime minister, they give the gay community, I'm saying it right here, the homosexual community, the transgender, all the name of them up. They lock down the entire downtown next month, I think, to what for them walk upon them naked and themselves all come and walk with them and all of that stuff. And when the church asks them just to come to a meeting, they refuse come and you want to tell me we're supposed to be comfortable with that has the church lost its salt let's let's go to the truth have we lost our salt have we lost our flavor have we lost our ability to stop there are to slow down the decay because that's what salt does. It preserves our uh, glory to God. Back in the days uh, of Jesus Christ, uh, you know, they didn't have fridge and all of that stuff. So they had to put salt from the Dead Sea, uh, glory to God, uh, to preserve the decay of the meat. Have we lost our flavor? Have we lost our influence because of greed, money? That we are none effect. No influence. We bless the name of the Lord. We can't even influence and encourage. John Tory to come to a meeting. We can't even get dogs for attention. Glory to God. It's a disgrace. I look just right next door me, Downs U Park, uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, glory to God, you're going to see, uh, you understand, uh, this thing called Zine or whatever. Some big band music and drugs and all of that. You understand? Why is it that a church cannot get a permit just like how they can get a permit? In a couple of weeks, I hear that Sensia and some reggae artists downs you part. How come them can't do that? F -f 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 come in and, and, and do all that thing. And why is it that we cannot get those same from You know why? Because we're bitter against one another. We're covered against one another. All of our bishop, our archbishop, all the tear on one another, the government know it. You know how the government knows? 
Because guess what? When I go to the government and I not go by on herself, I heard a politician say that I was at a meeting. She said, good God almighty, when she look and she see this church want this, that church want that, that church will come that, that church will do that, that. And she said to herself, my God, why don't these people to come together? The government looks for unity. Because even the government knows that there's power in unity. That's why the gay people them can't get the you and I are being dis are, are being put out of our way. Why? Because you can't drive downtown when them people stop. You can't drive you, you go down there and try to drive your car when them taste they can't go there. Why can't we do that? Why can't the church? Why? Because we've lost our salt. Yeah. We have no influence. The government not coming to us. John, um, women, Doug Ford not come to us to ask us, oh, you know, how do you give any ideas of how to um to curb crime? Uh, do you have any ideas that we can implement in this community? Uh, you know, do we have any ideas? Da, 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 da. No, but you know what we do as a church? We lie on paper and tell the government, oh, we can't do this and take the government money and don't do nothing. With it, and that's why someone will lose the number. My God, I don't even know how me come here. Nothing, and we the little one them are using own money, and I try to someone to shut with them. On the top, our money of evil about us. On the sell with this and with that, we're rebellious because you guys refuse to do it. God is true. Let every man be a liar. But I know the God in whom I believe this morning that he is going to do a new thing. Oh, yeah. He's going to raise some of us up. He's going to make a way because he's going to grant unto us the desires of our heart. You think I look at time and ask. I said, you know, those of you, you understand who have your number and you know, you have your MP and all that stuff. You can't ask them for giving up, please. You can't ask them for don't you part. You can't ask them for, for allow us. You understand, use your influence, come together, counsel in Toronto. There's so much councils of bishops. In Toronto, there's bishop and bishop and bishop. There's 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 all sort of bigger heads. Like what? No no no. Like what? Nobody can access. Nobody. Whether you're in a Brampton, whether you're in a Scarborough, nobody. Your your MP now listen to you. But you know what hurts me when I vote time. Oh um, come to church um MP and you get you bring them on the podium to make a fool and a mock at the church. But where are, where were they? Or where are they? Come on, let's speak truth, man. Let's get back. I thank God that he is the God who restores. Yeah. You see when you see what I notice about people when I talk like this now, people go ahead and say this. But you see when somebody else talk like that, then no mind. But the truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. And it breaks my heart. I don't even know how I end up with this part right now. But I know that God will restore. And that God is going to do a separation. He's going to do a sifting. He knows those who are his. He knows those who are willing to work. He knows those of us, we're not selfish. We're not in it for the money. We're not in it for popularity. We're not in it for people to carry our bags and all that stuff. And I mean, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong. Is there anything wrong with somebody carrying a bag? If that's, you know, if you find pleasure in that or, you know, that's how you do things, that's fine. That's, you know, your way of doing things. But that's not uh, some of us number one priority. Our number one focus is that we must complete the work that we set here to do. The church has been given a work to do. Yeah. But have we lost our salt? Yeah. Have we lost 
our flavor. Because those of us who cook, especially if you're a person that loves salt, you know, some people don't eat salt in their food, uh, you know, for whatever reason. But for those of you who are used to salt, you're used to flavor. And if somebody ever cook a plate of food and give you, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. If somebody ever cook a plate of food, right, and put it down before you, it looks nice looks nice well put together everything is stationed properly and you say wow that looks good and when you sit down and you put that in your mouth you spit it out because guess what there's no flavor it doesn't taste good it makes you sick that's what is i should ask the question is this what the church gone to now there's no flavor, there's nothing, there's no aroma, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. There's no aroma. We bless the name of the Lord. Our churches, there's no aroma coming out. There's no flavor that's seeping through the window. Uh, glory to God, yes. There's no smell of fresh bread that's sneaking. Where you ever go is some in, in, in apartment building sometimes, you know, when I come from work and, and I'm coming out of the elevator and I smell. Remember, I'm not in these people's house. I don't even know where the smell is coming from at the time. But if I follow that smell, because that smell has caught my attention, that aroma of fresh bread, or sometimes you smell nice, good seasoned chicken and it smells nice or even fish, and you say, good God, somebody's cooking something nice. I'm sure if I follow the smell, it would, it, I would end up to the door. Have we lost our smell, the aroma that will cause unbelievers to be attracted to our church or to our gatherings? Or are we just there gathered as a bunch of people that has no salt, no flavor, there's no aroma. We're just there making noise, beating up on ourselves, exalting our own self. Where is the aroma that's coming from us that will cause a, a prostitute, a glory to God, to, to smell it and wonder where is that smell coming from? And that smell will draw her, uh, yes, to the light of God in you. Have we lost the salt? <coughs> the Bible says that if we lose it, might as well then just trample us down with good for nothing. Good God Almighty, are we at a place where we're good for nothing? We bless the name of the Lord. A bakery with no bread? A bakery that has no aroma? A bakery that when you enter into it, you only see the oven and you see all the, the, the baking pan and some little crumbs on the floor that tells you that there used to be bread. There used to be something happening. There is no bread. The bread of life that brings life, that brings healing, that brings deliverance. We bless the name of the Lord. Our young people needs more than crumbs. Our, gut, our gang leaders needs more than crumbs. You know what crumbs represents? The aftermath of maybe two years ago convention when, you know, everything was hype and little crumbs left. That ain't gonna cut it with this generation. We've stopped making bread and we replace the bakery is for bread, but it's now used for other merchandising. You cannot find bread no more. You can find everything else, but not the bread. 
the aroma of bread, the scent of fresh bread. Follow me, for those of you who know why I'm saying bread. Glory to God. Naomi returned because she heard that God has visited her people and there was bread. When there is bread in the house, glory to God, those who are returning will bring people with them. Ruth, Naomi brought her. We bless the name of the Lord. When our backsliders and our prodigal sons and daughters and our gomars hear that there's bread in the house, they will bring people with them. Our young people will bring their friends. Come on, somebody. God help me this morning. Nothing, everything God belongs to you this morning. Thank you. He who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord says this morning unto us. All I did this morning, I stayed up last night to study, to bring forth the devotion this morning and nothing that I prepared God knows what he wanted you to hear this morning. Let every man examine themselves and remember where we've fallen and return, repent and return to our first love. Return to your first works. You know, it didn't say return to your first job or return to your first work. We bless the name of the Lord this morning. <clears throat> oh, we thank the Lord this morning. I'm just going to be obedient. And that's what the Lord would have me to say this morning. I believe in a God who waits. Uh, yes. Must come to pass. His word is going to come to pass. He's coming back again. God who took six days to create oh this Oh God, universe. we give you praise this morning. I believe in a God who speaks to the wind and the waves and they had to obey. Oh yes, I believe, Lord. I believe, I believe this morning. I'm believing this morning. I am believing this morning. Hallelujah. I believe this morning. Oh, we bless the name of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah this morning. Uh, please indulge me just to read some of the comments this morning. I thank those of you who came on. Uh, glory to God, Mr. Renee Campbell says, some can't even influence their own household. So true. Yeah. Because guess what? Their household, our members of their family here, or oh, probably they tear down their brother and sister. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Karen Wright to say, no unity and oneness in our churches. We're so divided. Yeah, religion has divided us. Yeah, yeah, our own agenda have divided us. We've lost sight of the mission. Uh, glory to God. Yes, that's what's causing the division. Uh, Minister Mary uh, down there in Florida is saying, willingness to change into the image of God. Yes, we must be willing to die to ourself. Uh, glory to God. Uh, yes, I, I kind of came out. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord this morning. Uh, glory to God. We bless his name this morning. We bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. 
thank you for those who join us. I was just trying to go through, uh, you know, just some of the comments. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Uh, Minister June is saying word. Uh, good clarification. God is good. The Holy Spirit comes to clarify. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord this morning. Uh, yes, let us continue to believe this morning. I believe. Bless the Lord this morning and we give him praise this morning. Uh, glory to God. All glory and honor belongs unto him this morning. Uh, glory to God. As we're coming down this morning, uh, let us continue to remember those uh, who are mourning the loss of their loved one this morning. Uh, those who are preparing, uh, glory to God, to bury uh, their children this morning. Uh, this morning when I got up and I was watching the news, while I was getting ready, uh, yes, the tears just came when I heard family member talking about uh, their children. Uh, you know, uh, one girl, she wanted to be a lawyer. Uh, yes, another boy wanted to be a police officer so he can protect people. And when I heard the art, the heart wrenching uh, was the father of the 10 year old who was using her cell phone, uh, go to God to get help and was shot. Uh, yes, my good God almighty. When you see the faces of these beautiful children, uh, glory to God, your heart just breaks. Teachers, uh, both of them, a mother of four, a wife, uh, use their bodies as human shields just trying to protect uh, these little ones. Uh, indeed, we say this morning, gone too soon, but never to be forgotten. Uh, glory to God. Let us continue to pray uh, for those who are in hospital. Uh, glory to God. To pray for the ones, uh, glory to God, who have to have been traumatized. Uh, glory to God. Heard the voice of a little boy uh, talking about have to be hiding behind, uh, yes, the stage in the cafeteria. Uh, glory to God. Uh, just imagine the, the shout, the screams, and, and the, the sound of gunshot, how it echoed through that school, traumatizing them. Uh, glory to God, we pray for them today. Uh, yes, we pray that God would heal them, strengthen them. Uh, yes, wipe the tears or bottle them up of those parents and those teachers. Uh, glory to God, yes, their colleagues. Uh, glory to God, yes, it is just, uh, glory to God, a very gloomy day, but we thank God. God, and we give him praise that uh, that number could have been more than 21. Uh, glory to God, because I'm sure there's more than over 100 uh, students in that school. Uh, glory to God. So again, we thank God that, uh, yes, it was only uh, 21. And um, yeah, let us continue to pray uh, into a God that we believe in. I believe in God who sends the rain and makes the sun to shine. to set us free this morning. He's alive this morning. And I continue to believe this morning. Uh, yes, in, in closing, I want to read our poem this morning. Uh, glory to God. Yes, Lord, in our hearing this morning. Uh, it's from Johnny Murray. Stay strong, it's titled. Stay strong through the night. To thine own self be true. Never do change and always remain you. For God made you special and gave you something no one else can take away. He doesn't want you to hide that gift. It is to be used every day. So stay standing when your legs feel weak and when the world seems all wrong, glory to God. When people try to tear you down, leap up and say, I will stay strong. Yeah, leap up today and say, 
I will continue to believe. When my legs feel weak, I will continue to believe. Yes, I will continue to believe in the God that is more than able. Uh, glory to God. On this note, I want to say thanks to each and every one of you who've joined us today. Uh, glory to God. For those of you who are on chat, for those of you uh, behind the scenes, for those of you who will watch later on, uh, glory to God. The Lord bless you and your entire household. The Lord keep you. Uh, glory to God. May his face continue to be turned towards you. May he grant you peace uh, today. The peace that surpasses all understanding. Uh, glory to God. I decree over your life today, uh, yes, that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night that you're an overcomer uh, that you're blessed and can never be cursed glory to god uh, my name is vivian i am the founder and the host of real talk coming to you live from out of toronto canada uh with me and not with me today uh glory to god is minister michelle so on her be on her behalf as well as the entire real talk community we want to thank you uh, for including us today as part of your devotion i trust that you were encouraged today I believe without a shadow of a doubt that the Lord has spoken to us today. Uh, glory to God. I truly believe that. And all I can say is this. Uh, remember from whence you've fallen. Repent and do your first works again. Glory to God. Pursue that vision again. Uh, get to know who you are and whose you are and make that vision clear. Uh, glory to God. Yes. And work it unto the glory of God that you too will be able to say that it is finished. Uh, you have finished your course. You've finished everything uh, that you're instructed to do by the sovereign God today. So wherever you are around the world today, how excellent is our God in all the earth. Let the earth rejoice. Uh, remember today that you're the heart of a champion, the mind of an overcomer, the spirit of more than a conqueror, because greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. So remember today that you are a lit candle. Go out and light your world. Love on somebody today. Forgive somebody today. Pray for somebody today. If you're able to provide a meal for somebody today, go ahead. If you're able to to buy a piece of clothing for somebody today, go ahead. If you're able to visit the sick today, go ahead. I pray today that you'll choose to be the hand of God extended and his voice in the earth, loving someone back to life and destiny. All right, be blessed on today. It was a privilege, uh, yes, serving you today with clean hands, a pure heart, and a right motive. Uh, so with that being said, have yourself a wonderful day today. Again, God bless you. I uh, trust that we'll do it all over again tomorrow by God's grace. Be blessed on today.